figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the San Diego Padres and the New York Mets. Digging in, Juan Ligaris. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Now the one and one pitch. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. Reined in. And there's one away. So here's Will Myers. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. Two hits in seven tries. He's also gone down on strikes five times. A one and two count to Will Myers. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety. And right now, this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt. And I don't know how much more rain this field can take. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That in third. Digging in now for San Diego. Tommy Pham. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Line to the right side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. The third baseman. Striding in, J.D. Davis. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Richards is sitting on 49 career pitching victories coming into this one, so potentially looking for number 50 here. Working for the punch out and the offering. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Rosario stands at first with one out. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Fouled away. The next 3 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. Oh, wow. Ready with the one and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And it's fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two and one, here it is. At three and one now as that misses down and in. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. 
throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Beriznik is under it. One down. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in now, the always dangerous third baseman, Manny Machado. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The second baseman, Brian. At the plate, Dozier. Brian Dozier hit hard to the right side. Foul. Payoff pitch one more time. No score here as we play inning number two. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Into the box, Josh Naylor. Down low, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And you know, the heavy stuff has finally arrived. This has got to be the hardest rain we've seen all afternoon. Full count now, three and two. And the payoff pitch. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And there are two away now. In now, Garrett Richards. The hit number 43, Garrett Richards. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Yeah. He strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He went deep in the contest last night. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Two and two to the Mets catcher. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Waiting his turn on deck, Yoannis Cespedes. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Next for the Mets, Yoannis Cespedes. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The count now at two and two. Hit to first. He's got it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. The 1-1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Two and one to Juan Lagares. The pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Will Myers. Now batter. 
the right fielder will bases are empty point. one man out and it's one and two he's been getting lit up all game and there's a common denominator he keeps missing right down the middle of the plate case in point with that last one a dive and he knocks it down and he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single now back left field at the plate now, Tommy Pham. Pitch inside the throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back in. Now the 2-1 pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike, and now there are two gone. At the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Padre shortstop ahead with a three ball one strike count. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marisnik is under it and the inning is over. go for the last half of the inning and next will be the pitcher Steven Matz from the windup the 1-1 one, one pitch a ball and two strikes a swing and a ground ball to third but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two and he fouls this one off the one two misses for the second ball going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike back up the middle. Oh what a dive in time. So the base is empty here with one away and up next will be the shortstop Ahmed Rosario. Is one and two now. This year against right handed pitching, Rosario carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. The third base. So bases are empty here with two gone and into bed next will be JD Davis. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Richards is ready. 2-2 on its way. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit. Possibly more. This will kick up against the wall now. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now batting. Number two. Stepping in now, Jeff McNeil. That's lifted the other way out to left. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Manny Machado. You can't do much with that one, and it's one and two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman, Brian Dozier. Two balls and a strike to Dozier.
strike swinging timing a little off on that one you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker there is just no way to do any damage you're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side and that's the second out digging in Josh Naylor he hit a big three run bomb in his first plate appearance and that's been the entire offense so far in this one they've been shut down other than that and this one runs a little too far in ball two swing in the line drive but just fouls as he just misses extra bases And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Swing and a liner. Foul. Straight three called and the inning is over. of the inning now and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo fastball taken inside for a ball two and one now to two and two now now the pitch and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone the right fielder. Ready now, Michael Conforto. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Lifted in the air to center. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. Digging in to try it again. Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 1. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. Liner towards second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. 1 1. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie gone to lead off the inning. To the plate now, Garrett Richards. And the Padres pitcher behind with a one and two count. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marisnik is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Here's Juan Lagares. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Lagares. And the two one. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Ready for another chance? Will Myers. He's one for two in this one. Four runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Now he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Myers puts a good swing on it. This one's carrying well to left. And this will bang up against the wall. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Robert Gesellman will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Mets. Number 65. Robert. So now to the plate, Tommy Pham. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! Standing in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Into the corner and slicing foul. 
three runs already home here. A bouncer to the left side. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. The third baseman, Manny. At the plate, Manny Machado. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Two out here and a runner at second. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Now that the second base Brian. Into the box, Brian Dozier. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and up next, the big RBI minded bat of Ioannis Espinas. Now the one and one pitch. Line drive to left. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for route number one. Here's Jake Marisnik looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jake Marisnik becomes out number two this inning. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Oh, and a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Hit hard on the ground is short. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Paul Seawall gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready once again, Josh Naylor, one for two in the ball game thus far. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the six. Standing in, Francisco Mejia. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Here's the one and one delivery. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Popped him up. Davis in foul ground. He's got it one away. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Garrett Richards. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Alonzo is there, and he'll bring this one in. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Juan Ligares. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a line drive. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The white fielder, number four. Will. Into the box now. Will Myers. Two balls and a strike now as that misses to the San Diego right fielder. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. Gone! Wait, Brad Brock gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort now this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Brad. 
to the plate now Tommy Pham wisely lays off the cut fastball there it's two and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now and coming forward now is the shortstop Ahmed Rosario. This one doesn't look good so far down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. So here's Jeff McNeil. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Lifted the other way out to left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now that is the first base play. Oh, At the plate now, Keith Alonzo. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Andres Munoz takes over here with the a runner at first and two gone in the inning. In now, Michael Conforto. Fastball laid off well below the knees. And this will be fouled away. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Munoz has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and over those innings he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3 so he's a reliable arm and, and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll and stepping up as the shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Two and two now. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. This is skied into short left center. Rosario has a play. He's got it one away. And in steps Manny Machado. It was a single for him in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. Hit back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. At the plate, Brian Dozier. And there's ball two now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box now, Josh Naylor. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Naylor. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. 
and when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Cespedes is going back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Stepping in now, Francisco Mejia. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and now it'll be the catcher, Wilson Ramos. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The 2-1 home. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Bounce to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So with one away now, a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. Cespedes behind the ball in two strikes. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Not your normal put away pitch. A two strike fastball down in the zone, but he was able to get wood on it and foul it away. Even count two balls and two strikes. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Fam is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So digging in now, Jake Marisnik. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. After it is Myers. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Next to the plate for the Padres, Andres Munoz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he misses with it, ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading now things off. The center fielder. Settling in now, Juan Ligaris. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. McNeil's got it for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Digging in and looking for more, Will Myers. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Myers takes, and this winds up missing ball four. A runner on first with two away. High 
high and deep to right center. Mariznik is after it. A dive, and he brings it in. And on a fantastic play, the inning is over. Eduardo Nunez will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Nunez! Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Fouled off. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ahmed Rosario. He was a ground out victim last time up. 2 1, here it is. Down at 3 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is there and he has it for the out. J.D. Davis the next to bat. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Popped him up. Dozier waits on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Jerry Familia comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results than the other Number arms that they've run out there in this one. All set to start the ninth in this one. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Up and in on the hands. It's two balls and a strike. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here three and one in the on deck circle is Manny Machado he'll bat next hit to third Davis brings it in throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway stepping into the box Manny Machado he steps in off a base hit in his last at bat ready to deliver the full count pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. A bouncer to the left side. Throw gets him. Two down. At the plate, Brian Dozier. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Two out, nobody on. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there, and that retires the side. Set for the bottom of the ninth. And set to go is the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Outside, that's the ball. Nope, that's the ball. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at-bats. Here it comes on one and one. A little bit outside. Two and one. Eight. 
over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He's set. Here's the 2-2. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled away. Three and two now. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. John Porto. Conforto behind a ball and two strikes. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now batting. Mets down the to their catcher. final out now. Well, and there. next is the catcher, Wilson Bravo. Ramos. 1-1. Hit on the ground toward the left. He's got it. On to first, and that will seal matters here this afternoon. And this will wind up being one of those kind of saves you used to see back in the 70s. I'll tell you, he was on fumes at the end there, but he found a way to get it done. Nine to one is the way this one ends. San Diego get the win on the heels of four home runs. Garrett Richards earns his fifth winner of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Nine runs on 13 hits. No error. They left six men on base. For the Mets, one run on three hits. No error. They left five men on base.